uh, share ko lang yung project ko. Uh, it's about, uh, we, we have this problem. Uh, it's like uh, two years back sa company. We have one product line that is having a low producibility. So it's, it is too low that, that the cost per unit is as high as 2,000 per, per unit, more than 2,000 pesos production per unit. Now, uh, that is what I have been focusing on. And then uh, the objective of my project is to, uh, is to improve that uh, producibility. And uh, the Six Sigma PH team helped me to identify and uh, what are those uh, issues then after that, the objective we study is to reduce those fields having those uh, lower yield no, in terms of. So it's like a defect, a defect reduction uh, per se. But this, this one is like in a manufacturing setting in a field production perspective. Uh, yeah. So uh, during that time when, it, when I do the project, Ang pinaka mahirap, I think, is yung nature ng ano namin, ng, ng operation. Since we are on the agricultural uh, production, uh, and then dito sa Luzon setting, na seasonal tayo dito. Kaya nagkakaroon ng maraming delay. So, for example, uh, it is necessary to delay yung implementation ng pilot solutions until the next season. Usually, yung mga projects diba natin, ano, uh, three months, yung iba six months, dapat matapos na. But dito sa amin, uh, we need to, you know, wait for another season to implement the solutions and then you, you need to wait again for another season to, uh, to implement yung large-scale solutions natin. Kaya yun yung mahirap. So, but... Uh, we tried to make like new experimental ano namin, plots in off season we make it more controlled so that mahabol namin yung mga deadlines so yun yung isa sa pinaka i think major roadblock to sa project namin and then next is yung ano getting tasks done through uh, team members so sa amin yung sa grupo ko yung ginawa kong team members is yung mga ano ko rin eh, kasama ko sa trabaho and we know each one of us meron talagang ano yun mga responsibilities right so Paano natin pagkasahin yung mga trabaho? This task project related then versus doon sa mga ano nila, kanya-kanya nila responsibility sa jobs nila. So I think uh, what we did is uh, we broken down each task into like a smaller project, uh, sub-task, and then we monitored it and make each of the team members accountable uh, for the completion. So it's easy to say, but alam natin mahirap. But uh, I think... Uh, uh, we, with the help naman ng mga coach natin and mentors, we're able to complete that. And uh, kung titingnan naman natin how this team, the Six Sigma page, help us uh, achieve our, or I mean, complete our project, I think this training, like this, yung ginagawa nyo ngayon, this is extremely beneficial. Especially doon sa yung pag-set ng goals no, sa mga projects. Uh, uh, dito rin sa training uh, ni nila Sir Rex before. No? It teaches us kung paano, uh, how to analyze yung mga data natin in the most simple way. So uh, ako, I've been in the CI team for how many years? In the QMS, in the production for how many years already? Like 16 years. And uh, I know, I know uh, some complicated things and all that. But nung sa training ni Rex, no, I find it really simple. Uh, clear cut ito yung ito yung issue ganito titingnan yung data ito yung tamang graph ito yung tamang analysis walang paligoy-ligoy so i think that's uh, the best thing that i got from this uh, institution no yung training simple but uh yun talaga yung pinaka best way no parang wag nang dagdagan na kung ano-ano pa okay i think yun yung pinaka best na nakuha ko dito and uh, yung sa training din no, no it highlights yung collaboration kasi ito yung project lalo na sa amin hindi talaga kayang gawin na mag-isa uh, so yun highlight palagi ng mga trainer natin dito sila Rex at yung iba pa diyan na coaches na collaboration with the team members not only team members pala yung mga stakeholders so yung mga stakeholders the guys sa project namin na uh, nung umpisa mahirap mag-collaborate but uh, uh, we were able to complete it using the uh, 
uh, yung mga techniques na tinuturo sa atin. So tinitingnan natin lahat team members, yung finance team namin, yung supply chain namin, uh, the internal customers namin. So ayun. And I think uh, yung mga tips, sabi, uh, one of the yung mga tips no, in order for, from, from my end, no, paano i-complete yung project. I think i-follow lang natin kung ano yung tinuturo sa atin. Let's start doon sa defined stage na kung saan dapat klaro yung problem from the problem statement and then making the objectives. Otherwise, mahirap yun pabalik-balik ka, hindi mo alam. Andun ka na sa measure phase or sa analyze phase tapos hindi pala klaro yung mga objective natin. So, I think yun yung pinaka one. Then, um, yung dun sa analysis naman, uh, siyempre yung iba sa atin, meron talaga mga tao na I mean, mas strength nila yung numbers analysis side, but dun sa iba naman na hindi, I think you don't have to worry. Uh, yung mga sila Rex is makakatulong sa atin to make it simple and then uh, we can ask help right sa, sa mga teachers natin sa peers natin sa iba na makasama natin kasi may mga kasama tayo ng iba na talagang nauna na sila in this in this uh, industry yung mga continuous improvement sites so, makakatulong din talaga sila so even even sa my project ko noon natagalan ako kasi sa define and measure medyo pabalik-balik dahil nga uh, broad din masyado yung scope ng project ko uh, but still worth it naman and happy naman yung team na uh, we're able to complete it with good with good ano uh, uh, actual savings so so far um uh, following itong methodology ng six sigma page i think uh, malaki yung tulong sa amin and we're able to complete our project with actual savings validated savings actually more than 10 million pesos so it's actually more than that and then uh, that's the financial benefits and aside from that other benefits uh, you would say yung trust confidence ng management for us to to handle yung mga malalaking issues uh, issues that drives productivity ng company so i think yun uh, mahalagang mahalagang mga bagay na uh, para mang tumataas yung confidence nila sa atin, yung trust nila for us to handle and then and uh, hopefully we'll be given like another mga responsibilities na naman pa. So, and that's uh, better for our career as well. Okay, I think uh, yun lang yung ma-share ko sa project ko unless meron tayo meron kayong tanong. Okay, sige. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much Edson. So to summarize uh, lang thank you. What, what what Edson mentioned, no? Edson, let, let me know kung may na-miss ako. So, um, yung mga tips ni Edson, number one, follow the methodology. Di ba? Follow the methodology, yung Six Sigma circuit natin. And trust the methodology because it has been refined over time. So, yeah. it has been tested, battle-tested. Ito, kita nyo nga yung project ni Edson. Over time has been refined. So, follow the methodology, number one. Number two, if you need help from Six Sigma PH or you need help from your colleagues, please always ask support. Di ba? So, in our part naman, we, we, we can coach you even after the training. Okay? And number three, pinakamaganda, sa sa mga pinakamaganda sinabi ni Edson, by doing process improvement projects, by doing DMIC, and, and completing a project, isa sa pinakamagandang makukuha natin is yung trust. Di ba? Yun yung sinabi ni, ni Edson. And yun nga, isa sa mga tagline na Six Sigma PH, earn respect from your boss and peers. That's very important, yeah. di ba? Di ba? So, uh, aside from being promoted or uh, increasing your salary, earning respect is very, you know, very important for us. So, okay? So about how many ano Edson how many months natapos mo yung project gaano katagal inabot Yeah So um at least more than a year sa project ko it's like uh, one year uh, it's like uh, 18 months since uh seasonal mm -hmm. 
we did the define and the measure states like two months, pero yung implementation kasi ng pilot is we need another season to test it. And then uh, when we do the pilot, we do it like an experiment in the field, actual experiment. So yeah, you need another season. And then after that, uh, we found what is, uh, what is um, conclusive and what is uh, really the, the, the factor then. When we implement the solution, it takes another season. And overall, it's almost two years. So, but yeah, still worth it. Thank you. Correct. Correct. So, medyo na extension dahil yung data yeah. mo, mag-aantay ka ng season. Okay? Ano lang, parang intro lang for everyone. Ano yung product ulit ni, ni, ni Corteva? So, yeah. So, Corteva is a uh, agriculture company, US company, producing hybrid corn seeds. Yung, yung sa project ko, but we are producing other products like uh, canola rice and all other hybrid seeds but yung sa project ko is a corn only and uh, my project is focusing only on one on one uh, product type so there's a lot of product and then yung ano mo project Y mo yung yield yes per, yes per square, per hectare per hectare uh, per hectare per hectare so per yield hectare. and uh, yung output it was increased from what to what if you yeah so still... it increased from 79 to 109 units per hectare. So uh, it's like, yeah, before before per hectare that we are planting, we're getting only 79 bags. And now we're getting 109 bags per hectare. Wow. So that's, that's the on average. That's like uh, 20, more than 20% improvement. Almost 30 plus percent. Yeah, it's really big. Uh, Anong sinabi, Edson, after successfully may implement yung project? Anong feedback from the sponsors, from the bosses? Yeah, so my sponsor is my, actually my direct manager is the sponsor. So of course, um, uh, the normal uh, recognition is there. And then it is also a, in the company, we have a platform of so continuous improvement. But it doesn't matter how, what method methodology will use is it six sigma or what any ci tools but there's a platform there that this is your project this is your milestone this is your savings and this is the balance savings so if you complete that i was able to complete that so i reflected all of the of that in in, in that platform so that reflects to my performance as well that's a good thing and yeah they're really happy with that and uh, i think also they ask oh, okay where is where, where did you train who coaches you something like that uh, yeah, and then uh, they, they know it. That it's from the Six Sigma page. So I think uh, uh, the company is happy with that. Okay. All right. Thank yeah. you very much, Edson. Let's ask Edson. Habang nandito pa. Yeah. <laughs> Hi po, question. Hello. Uh, this is Mika po. Um, my profession po is HR associate. No? So question mm. lang po. Uh, Paano niyo po, uh, how did you come up po with, kunyari, your current state? Kasi right now po, with my project in mind, uh, wal, parang wala po kasi akong available data. So, hindi ko po ma-check yung current state ko. No? So, paano niyo po siya ginawa? Uh, okay. So, on my case, um, since I was in the uh, company for like 15 years, 16 years, I already, we, it's already established how we collect data. Meron na kasi siya lahat stable yung, almost stable yung process. So, meron na siyang data collection uh, system. Uh, all the leading indicators are there. All you have to do is get it and analyze it and all. Ganon siya. So, pero sa, sa case ninyo, pag wala pang data, uh, I don't think we can move forward without data. Uh, you need to, you, you really need to collect data. Yun yung, yun po yung ano ko. Kasi, otherwise, right? Kung data-driven kasi itong Six Sigma, Without the data, mahirapan tayong mag-move. Kailangan ka talaga mag-collect ng data. Uh, 